Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times Reminiscences. Um, what we're doing today then? Primeval Well is what we're doing. Um, Primeval Who? I hear you say. Well, Primeval Well is what I say. Um, yes, this. Finding this is the sheer definition of serendipity. Um, because there I was, cruising band camp, as you do, and I happened upon this, no expectations whatsoever clicked on it not thinking too much the album cover you know doesn't suggest too much um and was absolutely blown away completely unexpectedly um you'll find out why very very shortly but um this is a band from tennessee and as you listen you don't listen need to listen too hard to um see their cultural roots but i don't think it's elvis or the grand opry but um nonetheless enough waffle have a listen <sighs> stopping it there because it changes emphasis in a minute but um that's a way to start a, a record a song it um grabs your attention straight away um it is glorious murk which is what i like uh there's no <laughs> nowhere on this album could you uh, use the uh, uh, descriptive pristine um because it is murk it is mud um and it's a morass and it's great um one of the first things that grabbed me about this album when i first heard it is about to um, manifest itself so let's listen Glorious. 
that took me back when I heard it um, the first time. Um, <laughs> you know, there's the harsh vocals in there, but um, there it's as if the the band had dug up the corpses of Leonard Skinner and got them to sing along. Um, totally took me by surprise. Um, when you hear the album as a whole, it fits in, um, as do the the cultural sort of um, country instruments, banjos or whatever they've used. Um, the other thing I like about um, their sound is that the rhythm guitar -y type side of things um, has got a whiskey warmth to it. Uh, and then you've got a discordant side of the guitars, which is like somebody's poured battery acid into that whiskey. Um, so you've got that, um, that jewel between the warmer guitars and uh, the strident guitar all underpinned by a barrage of drums and bass um you know if you weren't paying attention they're going to make sure you do in short order um but yeah absolutely cracking totally unexpected and totally you know it is a totally new sound um never heard black metal like that before um i doubt i will um i've heard other bands take on a southern black metal sound and they, they don't sound authentic um i can't remember the name of the band who, who pinned and pinned their reputation on sounding like a southern black metal and they're from france i think i can't remember the name now uh, i wasn't convinced at all <laughs> this you have no doubts whatsoever about where in the world they come from Going to the dentist that bit. Lurid vocals, which I like, as you know. is glorious. quickly there and I'm harking back to what I've already mentioned but tell me where you've heard clean singing like that on a black metal album before um, gloriously underpinned by the rabid uh, harsh vocals um, if you tell me you've heard that sort of choral singing in a black metal album or probably any extreme metal album for that matter I might have to call you a liar you might hit me because of it but I don't care I'll call you a liar um, 
it's a reason my ears pricked up when I heard this album, amongst many other things, to be honest. But um, I am taken with that uh, aspect of their style. <laughs> Yes, just if you didn't sort of uh, understand or hadn't realised um, their cultural heritage um, for the end of the album or the end of that, behind that track, uh, they give you another hint right at the very end. Um, I don't know if they had, have tornadoes in the, that part of the world, but I'll call that a, a Tennessee twister. It's a, a maelstrom of, um, which is the wrong word, but... Uh, <laughs> It just a swirling vortex of um, noise, but strangely pleasant with it. Um, home, homely, homely. I'm gonna say homely. Um, there's a friendliness to that. Uh, it, it, I get, you know, I get the feeling. And um, you know, as I say, the warmth of the guitar at times, even though there's, you know, it's been slashed by the other guitar. At, um, but that singing is inviting, <laughs> even though the, the rabid dog vocals um, snarling around as well. Um, it's, um, as I say, a unique sound. I've never heard anything like it. I doubt you have. Um, but so engaging. And, you know, that was eight, eight and a half minutes long. Um, I hadn't realised that the, the vocals as such, or the clean singing shall we say the start of the song proper which isn't right but i know what i mean um doesn't start until three and a half minutes in now that's because i didn't realize that because it doesn't seem like it takes that long for it to get going because there's so much happening all the way through but particularly before the actual clean singing part of it start, starts um you know they're showing their wares you know and and um keeping you interested before they get going um lots of changes of pace in there um which is i often say i don't mind sort of blast from start to finish um it does accentuate the the busier parts when you do have a it's not a lull but a change of emphasis um so yes glorious primeval well um Hopefully they'll do some more of that uh, in the near future. Um, that album, or the rest of the album, is very much in that mould, although each track is distinctly different. Um, some of it's more rabid than other bits, um, but I've, that was a review more than a reaction, but I've left this album uh, unlistened to for a few months now, uh, intending to review a track 
Um, I need to bother because each time I listen to it, um, different aspects leach out and, gr and grab me, or reach out and grab me, probably a better way of putting it. Um, and it, you know, excites every time. Uh, and uh, as I say, some of the uh, techniques they use, um, totally new to me. Um, fantastic. Anyway, waffling again, aren't I? Um, but thoroughly recommend that. Go and find out for yourself. Um, right, that's that for that. Um, if you want to do the clicky bollocks, feel free to do so. But for now, goodbye from the yoga. <laughs>